Hello everyone, this is Don from DonWebSolutions.com. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where we discuss great tips on website design and search engine optimization. Now, earlier this week, I started putting together several WordPress tutorials as an attempt to help some of my existing clients to better manage their websites. So today, what we are going to do is we are going to discuss how you can add a post or a blog article to your WordPress website. So in order to do that, one of the first things that you have to do is you have to be logged into your WordPress dashboard. Uh, you have to have a little bit of a familiarity with WordPress and how it works. And if you do, what you have to do is you're going to navigate to the section where it says posts. Now, all of your blog articles are going to be categorized in this section called posts. On posts, you have four sections. So I'm going to go through them real quickly. All posts exactly as it sounds it will list out all the posts in your wordpress website add new is a shortcut where you can add a new page add a new post to your website and the categories and tags are uh, taxonomies used within your wordpress post and i will discuss these two options as we go along in more detail so in order for us to add a post what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go the long way we're going to click on all posts and once you're there several things you can do in this dashboard you can edit or you can delete or you can view existing posts to your website however for the purpose of this article what we're going to do is we're going to add new so you're going to click on that once you're here it should be very self-explanatory you're going to give it a title so let's do this i'm going to use this video article as an example on how you can add a post so we're going to say how to add a post to your wordpress website and this is what you call a description editor now under the description editor you have two options the visual editor and the text editor the visual editor you can use this panel right here it should be very similar to using Microsoft Word or any other text editor in in your computer uh, so we're gonna use that so that you guys can better understand on what's going on but if you are familiar with HTML code you can always use the text editor to enter your details as well now for the purpose of this article I actually already have some information created so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my word document that explains what I'm gonna discuss today so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna copy and paste all of this information into this visual editor as you can see it's fairly very simple in order for you to add things and if you want to make any changes all you have to do is select a certain section and make the changes accordingly right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the heading back to heading 2 and as you can see you always have your options in adding list ordered list and unordered list uh, and so on once you're done with this one of the most important things in WordPress is that you can add the categories now let's move on to what do I mean by categories now categories are meant for broad grouping of your posts think of these as the main table of contents or the general topics that you want to discuss in your blog site categories are there to help identify well help your customers identify certain topics in your in your website whereas tags are micro data that's used within categories think of these uh, as your site's keywords or index words that you can use uh, if I'm not very clear on what I'm talking about let's move on to an example so you can understand it better so let's say you do have a blog that discusses life in general uh, so if you do that your main categories for your site might be options like food travel spirituality and books those are the main categories that you probably might use now if you are going to write an article on something that you ate that would fall under the main category of food correct however food in general is a very broad topic and you want to probably give more tags or more description as to what you ate in this case you can actually use the tags option for example you might have had pizza pasta or steak so using the category food as the main category and using 
tags like pizza, pasta, steak might actually help you in categorizing or managing uh, your WordPress articles much better and it will be much much more user friendly for people your site readers who come onto the website as well So one of the biggest differences between tags and categories is that you must categorize any article that you put But you don't necessarily have to put tags. So moving on to the article that I'm working on right now Under category section you will see the categories that it belongs to as you can see I can choose several categories I can say this belongs to web tutorials and I can say it actually belongs to WordPress tips so that I'm categorizing the article that I'm doing I Don't necessarily have any tags that I'm putting into the system uh, But should you choose to do so use the example that I gave you can create the categories and the subcategories using this section and you you can categorize them accordingly one of the things i can do for my posts specifically is i can select a featured image so i'm going to do that as well i'm going to upload an image here and let's see there you go how to add a post that's the image that i've created i'm going to click on that i'm going to give it a title caption and a description as well And I'm going to set this as the featured image so all in all we've actually completed on how the, the important steps on how you can add a post now I do want you to pay attention to this part uh, I've discussed in uh, this in uh, one of my other WordPress tutorials as well this is what you call a permalink and this is going to be very important and it's going to be a, a good friend in your search engine optimization uh, campaign so if you want to edit the permalink structure this is basically the url of the article that you're going into and i or what i want to do is because it is a little bit too long i want to condense it so i'm going to say how to add post on wordpress and i'm going to click ok And once you're done with everything all you have to do is click on publish that way you can publish the page so I'm gonna recap everything that I said uh, one more time but before I do that I feel if everything goes well you can see the post published this is a success message that comes through and you can link there you go this would be the article that I just created using the WordPress CMS and their back end functions so once again adding a post should be fairly simple all you have to do is you navigate to post and you navigate to add new once you're in add new you give it a specific title specific description you categorize it accordingly if you want to add media you can use the add media button here or if you want to set a specific uh, featured image for the website you can do so here once you are done with most of uh, the necessary requirements, you can publish the page using the publish button or right now because it's already published, you can update this using the update button. Uh, so that brings an end to my post, uh, to my tutorial on how you can add a new post to your WordPress website. Stay tuned. I will be adding more tutorials into my YouTube videos channel and my website on how you can manage your WordPress website as well as give you good search engine optimization tips. Uh, so this is Don. I'm signing off. Thank you so much.